VMware Cloud Foundation can connect to an online depot to download updated software bundles in order to upgrade infrastructure elements. But some VCF deployments are not connected to the internet due to policy. These are known as dark or disconnected sites. In those scenarios, customers can download bundles to a separate system and then transfer them to the SDDC manager. I'm Eric Gray from VMware, and in this video, you'll learn how to load software bundles into a disconnected VCF environment. The Offline Bundle Transfer Utility, or OBTU, can be downloaded from VMware Customer Connect. It's a good idea to ensure you have the latest version of the utility, and be sure to make note of the checksum so you can later verify the integrity of the download. During this workflow, it's useful to have a few common utilities handy, so use your package manager to add tmux, tree, and rsync if they're not already installed. VCF software bundles can require a lot of disk space, so ensure you have adequate storage on your intended volume. Before installing the software, you can verify the integrity with the SHA sum command. You will need to create directories for the downloaded bundles as well as for the OBTU tool itself. In this example, we will use var opt obtu for the bundles and opt obtu for the executables. Extract the downloaded tar file to the appropriate directory and make the script executable by using the chmod command. SDDC Manager would normally download certain metadata directly from the internet, but for dark sites, we need to use obtu to do this in addition to the software bundles. Use the utility to download three items, Manifest, Compatibility Matrix, and the vSAN HCL. You can verify the downloaded directory structure by using the tree command. The OBTU has quite a few options depending on your particular use case. Be sure to consult the product documentation for specifics. Because downloading and copying multi-gigabyte files will take a while to complete, run the commands from a tmux session. If your SSH connection is disconnected or times out, the operation will continue. Run OBTU from the command line with the appropriate options. You'll need to specify your customer connect ID in order to authenticate, and you can optionally choose to narrow the downloads to your particular VCF source version. The bundle transfer utility is an interactive application. Be sure to pay attention to the prompts and answer according to your requirements. For example, you can choose to include ARIA software bundles and you can Choose whether to download patch, install, or all applicable bundles. After the bundle download completes, you can again verify the directory structure. Once downloaded, the bundles need to be copied to the SDDC manager, either directly or indirectly, depending on your particular network connectivity and security policies. You can use rsync or scp, and it's suggested to use the NFS mount directory as the destination since it has ample free storage space. When SDDC Manager is not connected to the online depot, there will be no information about newer VCF releases until the manifest is imported. In order to perform the bundle import on SDDC Manager, you need to install OBTU. It's not included by default and must be downloaded from Customer Connect. Use SCP and the VCF account to copy the gzip tar file to SDDC Manager. Next, log into the SDDC Manager over SSH with the VCF user account and temporarily switch to the root account and make a new LCM tools directory in the appropriate location. Use the chone command to make VCF the owner and switch back to the VCF user account for the remaining operations. Extract the archive file to the new directory and use the chmod command to make the script executable. Start a tmux session so a timeout or disruption to your SSH connection won't impact any long-running operations. Previously, you ran OBTU several times to download the manifest, compatibility matrix, and vSAN hardware compatibility files. Now you will again run OBTU once for each of those items. This is an important step to perform before uploading the actual software bundles. Notice the input directory path is slightly different for the vSAN HCL upload. You will point directly to the JSON file. The bundle upload process can be lengthy due to the large size of the files and also because each one is validated to ensure integrity. You can observe the progress in the SDDC Manager UI. By uploading the manifest file with OBTU, a disconnected SDDC manager is now aware of the latest release of VCF. 
In order to ensure a smooth update of the VCF infrastructure, you can review the download history to make sure all required bundles are in place before you get started. Detailed VCF upgrade workflows are covered in the other videos in this series. For more information, visit the VMware Cloud Foundation website.